here in my Javanali village and the village of Ojana, the two different concepts, two different classes practice. This thing is not very much. But here, if you get a cut on the finger while they're doing the field work, they just cut it up. <laughs> yeah. Maximum they put the yellow powder. The body will be sick in the internal because the cut. They are sick to the first thing, they are sick to the next thing, they are sick to the next thing, they are sick to the next thing. Third is taken as a great thing, but here they are not seeing a sort of a way of life. Gautama Buddha said, when it hurts, observe life is trying to teach you. Muhammad Ali, the heavyweight boxing champion, was asked how many push-ups you do, and he said, I don't count when it starts hurting, that time I stop. And the Chokuchi karate members have been taught, when it starts hurting, that's the time you start the count, you want to do 30 or 50 or 100 push-ups. When you can no more do it and there was terrible pain on your hand, that's the time you start the count and start screaming at the top of the voice. The screaming at the top of the voice is allowing the whole couple to actually push the, the screaming at the top of the voice is allowing the sweat to burst out like the beautiful fountain. The, the screaming at the top of the voice is allowing you to Emptied everything and to penetrate deeper that you never gave up. That's the time it starts. They say, while you're doing your work, you keep sweating and sweating and you start getting the pain that you call it a hurt. And seven times you are getting it to fall down, then only you start the first day of your, first time of your work. That deeper, if you understand, I think nobody feels the hurt. In the, the, the difference between when it hurts, observe, Buddha says, but nobody observes. They get the hurt, they throw it back. Because if God gives you money, what will you do? You mean, make sure you try to put it in your pocket or try to Save it in your bank account so that you can use it further. But it is cash because it is materialistic money which has been brainwashed you. The same if it gives you the rainwater, you don't collect it up. And then when summer comes, it hurts. When it hurts, also. In summer, when it hurts, Immediately you must make sure you start observing, then you start making the path for the rainwater to be collected in the pond. And the groundwater is recharged for the borewell to be pumped more water. That observation helps when somebody hurts you. Like in the nocturne fighting. You must give your best strength. And before you go for the fighting, it's your duty to make sure when you work very hard on the push ups, abdomen and scalps, physical one I'm talking. And the same applies to the village people. You climb the tree like a monkey, you cut the tree, bum, bum, bum. And they're not feeling it hurt. But a city person, he tries even to climb the tree, thinking you might fall. Yet yeah, there is no hurt because it has become a way of life. But in the city, soft people, it is a hurt because they were not practiced. Practiced the Sanskrit. Buddha said, when it hurts, also, life is trying to teach you. Yes, life is trying to teach you. From when it hurts. And if you focus on your hurt, you get destroyed. It pains you more. But if you observe on the lessons that you learn from that earth, your growth is fantastic. Because it's your own 
experience. Buddha said when he heard of that observation helps you. But first of all, hurt is not. Hurt started coming because you started become bhukti. You have been spoon fed. Then everything what you see is hurt. Otherwise, everything you become so conscious, you become very strong. You see it others, you think it is so simple. Things are so simple. But from there, we have to find out how to multiply and make things for the future for another 500 years or 1000 years. A strategy to be adopted. When it hurts, observe. To observe is difficult. Because the very next moment energy music starts, very next moment energy TV programs, next moment there is a call in the mobile. You created the disturbance on the road and you wanted the noise always like in the slum, always the noise. Swimming tennis, everybody drums to fight the downtown. I scream without that they cannot sleep. And what is the difference between them and you? You are not able to observe, you are not able to plan it because when you enter the house, there is always all this fight breaking up. Or if nowadays there is no fight, you enter the house, TV is on. How do you observe? You are not taking bath to give the house, you observe your children, your parents, your body. When you are cooking, you are not able to observe what goes, which carbohydrates goes, which protein goes, which fat goes, because your organs don't see things and other things. Stop them for some time and start observing and you can find you are healthy. When you are healthy, you can observe the health. You can observe the growth and the growth is very close to your truth and the truth is God, Buddha, put many thoughts observe, keep, keep observing. Life is trying to teach you. We kept observing in Indrana, how people come, how they talk, and there's all these telling my children, no, don't get up, don't get up. When they come to ask my children, what is your name? I, I tell my children, they tell their name. The very next question they ask is, what is your father and mother's name? I said, that you can tell us from where are you from? Even I keep telling people, did you know from where you came from? I sat in that one place and I tell my students that they can tell us. We understood that when the children take the doggy out for a walk in Indranagar, everybody takes the doggy out. Only when my children take the doggy out for the walk, they sat on my children. He said, what? You people are beggars? And now you have a dog, you are walking like a rich uh, girl over here. My children came uh, running and crying to me. I said, don't take the dog here. <laughs> because it's the have and the have not. We are the have not. And we have to silently understand to take the shirt and convert that shirt. When we didn't have health food, we sat in front of the empty place and we thanked God for this beautiful party. And people who came and saw us and said, this is not busting, this is salvation. I said, if it's salvation, these kids are not mine, it belongs to the country, you can, can spread the message. The message spread from three to good able to now see their own house. And so, it's really crazy. When people talk bad, they always think uh, they uh, gave us good food. Yeah, when they gave us oil food, they silently put it in the dustbin or we convert it in the the manure. When they gave us, then they started speaking bad about us. We took that back and prayed to God that God is trying to fix us. And whatever bad they say, trying to work out how to be more better. Because of course, when it hurts, observe life is trying to fix. 